Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beninator13 here, back again with another video. And for today's review, I this morning I posted a, a three-second video clip on um, VTO1 Peru Kill standing above um, deceased challenger. But that's all for good measures. That's all for good purpose, you know, just to get the hype up for tonight's review. Well, not it's not really tonight. It's more like I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like two, three o'clock my time. So without further ado, please like the video, subscribe, comment, and um, turn on those that little bell. Make it go ding. Okay, so let's get right into this. So first things first, let's take a look at his packaging. Um, it's very nice. I gotta move half of this out of the way because like so, VTO1 Peru Bounty Hunter. Sorry, it's from Visual Toys, not Unique Toys, like the other one. Um, whoever sent this, they, they left a sticker on here with a Decepticon logo. I don't know, I, I, stuff I cannot read because it's Mandarin or Japanese. Around to the side, VTO1 uh, uh, product shots in the back. <laughs> Him and his dogs, and his dog carrying his gun. And, um... Hunter mode, okay. They should at least say robot mode. Stuff I cannot read because Chinese, Mandarin, I do not know. This bottom box things, stuff I do not know. And then on the top of the box, two of his puppies. And um, yeah, that's probably, oh, that is it for the packaging. And this guy is my favorite. I did a size comparison with uh, Challenger and uh, Peru Kill. And, um, you know, he's actually one of my favorites, too, as a lockdown, because he is actually movie accurate. And another cool thing about this, he has rubber tires, and he rolls beautifully, just like Challenger. He's like, oh, 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 and he goes off the set. Okay. And that's um, pro basically it for his ro uh, vehicle form. Um, it's a very sleek uh, Lamborghini. It's very sleek. I really enjoy that. I like this little grittiness of the back windows. Um, uh, translucent uh, clear plastic for the headlights. Um, uh, the same, but just red. Um, his bottom is Kibble City. Uh, it's probably a tinted windows. Um, I don't, I try, but you can't really see through them. So this, that's basically it. First size comparison, here he is with the original deluxe lockdown from 14 when Age of Extinction came out. Uh, yeah, it's not really a fair comparison between the two because let's, let's face it. Let's face it. Look. You know? Come on. Really? Hasbro, did you have to? Uh, this is the only lockdown I actually have, so no size comparisons with that. So, uh, very small. See on top like that. Front. You see the sides. The back. The bottom, like always, is Kibble City. And that's it. So I'm off to the side. And let's get down to accessories. For vehicle form, I only cover a few accessories because the others are more for robot form. Um, for accessories in vehicle form, he doesn't really have any for his vehicle, but I'll just include his uh, steel jaw, I believe they're called. He does come with these. Some translucent uh, little red balls inside the face. Tab. This is made out of like a rubbery, very rubbery thing, uh, plastic. His teeth are so sharp. When I was opening his, uh, when I was opening his, um, mouth, I was stabbing myself in the finger. And so, we could kind of set him up like this. The little puppy is. Would not want to own one of these. And he also comes with 
another one. This one's also very nicely detailed. Look at all that detail in that organicness. <laughs> uh, but the same thing, I was stabbing the hell out of my thumb trying to open his mouth. That's why I just leave it open. So, a uh, ball joint at the ankle and at the front. Off. Oh, yeah, you see his toes are also really sharp. I just poked myself. Uh, little ball joint here. Then again, just stabbed my finger again. Little ball joint here. Hinge joint. Hinge joint can rotate all the way around on a ball joint. I believe it is. Uh, the same thing, but these can only go back so far and kick up so far. So, eh, not a full 360. And let's get down to... The meat of this review is the transformation is well engineered. This is now one more thing. This is not from Unique Toys, and I already said that. But this is not from Unique Toys. This is uh, Visual Toys. But I do know that the uh, Unique Toys took uh, from Visual Toys. I don't know if they're the same company. I have no idea. But I think they d used the same mold as. Um, the uh, visual toys lockdown or peru kill and then made it uh for unique toys themselves uh for articulation for the vehicle i know that sounds crazy uh his side view mirrors actually do swivel i really like that but that's more for uh um robot mode you'll see why all right first things first to transformation what i like to do is take the side view mirrors off Parts forming, no it's not, because you're going to have to use them, but yeah, I can kind of see. So come around here to the back and just we're gonna split the uh, uh, brake lights. And then come around here to the front, and in the front, this little bit right here is going to come right off. You see, I uh, cracked it up. <laughs> Alright, and now, this is the hard part, you got to split the sides from the uh, vehicle itself. As you can see, these are gonna be his legs. So let's first do one. First flip up this little bit, come around here to the front, and I love the amount of detail they put into this. Cause right here, it's gonna look like he has three toes. It, you just fold that up. He has the movie accurate two toes, like the weird alien he is. Fold up this little side bit, and he's just gonna it's on a double hinge joint, so it's just gonna just get on in there. Come on, there we go. And just come up like that, and then rotate the brake light all the way around. And then there's a little tab right here, a little tab right here, little slot, little slot, and a kabooey, and it goes in there like so. That's one leg done. Same as the first. Flip up, flip up, rotate all the way around, rotate all the way back. This time it's kind of weird because right now there's two slots on this bit and just one tab on here. So it's kind of, you got to kind of, like that. But it's kind of nicely secured and I can't be too mad at that. So right here is his crotch. You're going to take his crotch and you're just going to, oh my god, there goes the entire half. Oh, this is going to be one hard transformation for me. So, you're going to come, and you're going to pull out his arms like that. Rotate the sides, the side windows facing at, at the ceiling, or at me, or whatever. And then you're going to get rid of, and tab the um, engine, because if you don't know... The storage compartment or the trunk is actually in the front of a Lamborghini and the engine is in the back of a Lamborghini. So, if you're just wondering, this is on a double hinge joint. See if you guys can see it. this little double hinge joint is just going to accordion in like that. It's going to look even more cool like that. And then you're going to take this whole uh, trunk and just, oh, 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 oh. and then you're just going to align that so it looks like this. And I can already see his humanoid, ugly-looking face. So you're going to want to just compress all of this. There's a little tab right here. 
and then there's a little slot right here. This is just gonna. Oh, I don't think I could do it just yet. Oh wait, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, oh, there we go. And it just tabs in like so. You're gonna take this whole bit and just pull it out, rotate down, pull out, rotate down, flip up that, and then flip this little die cast metal part up, fold up the head, close that back up, pull it down, and right here there are two little slots, right here, on either side, and then right here there's little tabs, I don't know if you guys can see, and there's little tabs right here, and they're going to lock into position right there, and then these little bits right here just fold out like that, and then just compress, there's like little tabs right here, and two little slots, or the opposite way around. There we go. And this is spring loaded, so if I do that, it'll like come out, and if I do that, it'll pop out. And here we go. So these little parts right here, these, and there's there's a little tab right here, little slot right here. You're gonna bend it, and it's just gonna tab right on in there. Same as like that. Now you. And then you're gonna, he has a little butt, a little butt flap that's die cast. It is die cast, it is cold to the touch. Flip up his butt plate, and then fold out his thighs, and now he looks kinda stupid. All right, and then, you know, fold down the leg, just like that, and then this, just close that back up. Second. Just like so. And like I said, you know, they do get pretty big. Like that. And he is not done yet. I'll have to raise my camera up just a little bit. Because, well, we all know he is going to get tall. Right? And I probably have a good solution for that. Let's fix my camera up just a little bit because this part kind of gets hard, especially like that. There we go. So now with it being raised up, like I kind of just know that, you're going to come down here to his arms. And these are his arms. I'm not freaking out. Pull it out at the joint, rotate around facing the wall, fold down his butt plate, I forgot about that. And then right here you're gonna fold out and rotate around his head. Huh, I got a little notification. There we go, all right. There we go, it's out of focus. Fold out his missile pods. And there we go, this whole arm completely done. The same, fold out rotate around, fold out his arm, or his hand, and angle it however you wish, it's your toy, and then just fold that up, fold up, and just angle this around however you wish, pull out his head a little bit more, and there we have, he falls back. He isn't all that stable, especially because he, half of him is, half of him is like die cast, like his chest and his butt flap and his feet. There we go. That is the Visual Toys Bounty Hunter, a.k.a. Lockdown from Age of Extinction. I called him Bounty Hunter because he's not called Peru Kill. I keep getting that mixed up, but I'll just call him Peru Kill because why not? So, and, and oh, you're wondering. Oh, you said that that was in parts forming with his side view mirrors. Well, here is his side view mirrors. This one goes on that side, and this one goes on this side. So, as you can see, there's a little, little, uh, piece of plastic sticking out of there. And there's a little, I'm gonna come on in here, focus. If you can see, there's a little circle right there. I'm gonna take it. Oh, I think I just got the wrong part. Ah, there we go. I got the right one. This will just go right on in here. Give it a little twist, and there we go. The same as the other one. There we go. 
And now there are no parts forming on him. All right, now let's get down to his other accessories. First things first, it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to start off with his iconic rifle gun face. <laughs> it's it's stupid. It's dumb. I don't know why Michael Bay decided, oh, let's give Lockdown a gun face. Oh, he's going to blow your face off with the gun face. All right. So uh, there are different ways of using the gun. So first things first, this is spring-loaded. So that. Uh, and um, this little bit right here is made out of die cast that I just pulled out so there are ways like I said to use it so one of the other ways is fold this back down and leave this out and you could come here to lock down fold out his hand and just put his thumb into his palm like that there is a little tab or not tab a little slot right here I don't know if you could see it oh yeah I think you guys can see it. it's right there and then there's a little groove right there through the handle. So you want to feed his fingers through there. And then there's a little, little circular tab right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It just tabs into that slot. And then you can come around here and fold his fingers. And he can hold his gun. <laughs> and he can kill Challenger if he really wished. All right, so enough with that. Let's take that off. Come on, I know you want to. There we go. All right. And there are so many ways of using this. Let's set him off to the side. And let's lower the camera to his little dog buddies, or steel jaws. So there's another way of using this. Underneath here, there's a little tab, and it is going to be hard to see that little tab. What you're going to want to do is fold the whole, all of that back. Or actually, I'm wrong. Fold out the die cast. Fold that up. Now, it'll be ready. And then there's a little tab on the top of Steel Jaw. Where you take that tab underneath the, uh, the clip, I guess, and just tab it on in there. For him. And he'll be carrying around Lockdown's gun. Like some sort of animal. Oh wait, it is, uh, no, hands up, hands up, it's gonna kill us. Alright, enough with that. And, for the gun, there, there are so many ways of doing this. Alright, fold out that bit, and just leave it like that. Now, in the movie, if you really wished, you can put it on his face, like in the movie. And the way to do this, this is spring-loaded, like I said, you just, ooh, ooh. So there's a little tab inside. When you fold up the handle, there's a little tab. See if, I, see if you guys can see it. I think you guys can see it. Right there. A little shiny bit inside that hole in the gun. That little tab right, right, right there. And there's a little tab slot right here. Right at the back of his head. And then what you're going to want to do is feed that tab into his head. So, let me get prepared for this. Because this, when I do it, it's actually one of the hardest things for me to do. So, you want to take it, pull it up, and just... Yeah, you see it doesn't want to do it. Let's angle his head straight, and then... Oh, I think I got... I think I got... No... Oh, did I get it? Uh, yeah. All right, I, 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 I actually got it first try. <laughs> Twice. So back here on his spinal cord, there's a little slot, and this whole thing will just tab in the, on in there. And now he has his stupid, his stupidly long rifle. You see? It's, it's just right there. And it makes him look pretty stupid. All right. And that's, um, for weapon storage for the gun, I uh, just want to close it back up, you know, just fold that and fold that back. Uh, back here, there's a little tab on the side of the gun, and back here, there is a few tabs. I don't know if you guys will be able to see them, but there are those little tabs right there. And 
If you want to do it, I'll do this off camera because it's quite hard to do because, you know, come on, I know you want to get, there we go. And just have his gun to his back. It's a thing you can do. And then, yeah, that's practically it for his gun. I'll bring it back in a second when we need to look at it again. So. Now let's move on to his other accessories. His second accessory, or should I say third, no, fourth accessory because of the other dogs, but I don't count them. So, is his hook hand. This is one of my favorite accessories because it's like really, it's his iconic weapon throughout the movie and TV shows like Transformers Animated and stuff. It's one of my favorite weapons, the hook. So, this is all... And hook him away. Uh, you know. Alright, so this does fold up, you know, for weapons storage. Oh. So this shows like a little knife. I think that is a knife. I don't know if it is. I'm gonna focus. It's, it's small. I really like the sculpted detail. Oh, it's out of focus again. Come on, come on. I know you want to focus. Come on, camera. Ah, it doesn't want to focus. But I like the sculpting in detail. It's on a hinge. It just goes like that. And there is weapon storage for it. But before we get into that, let's put it onto his hand. So what you want to do, it's like you're going back into the ro uh, vehicle form. Fold up the thumb. Rotate the whole hand backwards. Like, like, where it look like that. And just fold up the hand against his arm. And then just, no, wrong way. Rotate his thumb around. It's on a ball joint. And just... There's a little slot for his thumb. Now I'll just take it. Now on the top of his hand, there's a little peg. Or not peg, but a little slot. And there's a little peg for this. Give it a little bit of a twist. And it should... Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Now he has his hook hand. You see? And I really like it. Enough with that. Set it off to the side and just fix his hand back up to the way it was. There we go. There we go. Ah, he falls back. Do not fall forward. Alright. So, down to the final two accessories is his other face. He does come with another face. Let's take a look at that detailing on it. I really like the translucent green. Oh, now it's out of focus again. There we go. Look at that detail. I really like it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Oh, it goes blur. I really like it. And yes, you can swap faces, and I'll show you how right now. So what you want to do is come up to his ugly, ugly head. And... It helps if I use his little hook, but with the knife bit. So what you're going to do is come underneath his chin and just pry his face off. And that is violent. Oh, no, don't. Oh, nah, I'll use my finger instead. Right, come on. I know you want to. You do all all the time. Uh, okay, guys, face off. And now we can install his battle ready face. I really like this one more. And there we have it installed. There's just a little tab and slot. Let's get into his face's detailing. I really like the detailing on his uh, head. I really like the gold they use. Um, heads on a ball joint. The gold. I really like the sculpted in detail. Um, We'll do. We'll take a first look at this one. I really like the green. It is a um, I forgot what you call it. I think it's a uh, light piping. But look at that detail on his mug. Um, I really like that sculpted in detail. It's nice. And last but not least of his accessories is his seed. <laughs> uh, if you watch Age of Extinction, you'll know that this could uh, terraform any planet you want it to and turn organic organisms into their elemental metals. 
I really like the detailing on this. And you can have him hold it. Just lift his arm up, rotate around, and just put it in between his hands. And that's it for uh, accessories. Now we can get down to articulation. He is very, very well articulated. He has a beautiful pivot at the ankle. He can kick that high. And moving the butt flat back, you can kick back that high. Uh, he, If you wanted to, you could give him chicken legs like uh, Starscream. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just a double hinge joint, you know, ratchet, you know. Yeah. You can swivel his wrist. Hands are not uh, um, individually articulated. They're all in one mitten. And there you go. Wrist swivel. Uh, forearm swivel can move like that. Like he's flying and can go all the way around. Uh, very slight rotation at the waist. And, um, you know, movement at the head. And, yeah. That's basically it for the VT01 lockdown. Let's just give him a little bit of a thing. Put his accessories near him. And I don't have enough time to transform the other one, but I will next time when I review that. So, here we have the VT-01 Lockdown, a.k.a. Peru Kill, a.k.a. Bounty Hunter. Well, transformed. And yeah, if, like I said, uh, I didn't say this though. But he is a really nice figure. I enjoy him, but... But... He's $50 on eBay. Ha! You guys thought I was going to say he was like 130 bucks. Yeah, he was $50 on eBay. So, um... I really enjoy this one. If you want to pick him up, please go visit the... Uh, eBay, I guess. And pick one up for yourself. $50. But I think it's $50 well spent. And... Thanks for tuning in in Benonator 13 for today, and I'll see you all next time.